Hi guys, today we're talking about calculus and the quotient rule. In this problem, it says find the derivative of the function and simplify fully. All right, so I've got the quotient rule up here, um, and we're going to need to use this to solve this problem. Uh, and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate these two top or this uh, function by f and g. So we're going to have f here, and we're going to have g here. Okay. And so, for the top part, we say f is going to be log base 5 of x minus log base 7 of x. All right? And then we're going to say g is going to be log base 3 of x. All right. Then we're going to have to find the derivative of f and g. So we say the derivative of f. Um, and for that, you're just going to need to know uh, the der your derivative rules for log base functions. And for that, we say d over dx are the derivative of a log base function of x is going to equal 1 over x times ln of b. All right. So knowing that, we uh, take this log base 5 of x and we say 1 over, and so you take your x and you throw it out front, and then you take an ln, and then you take your base and you put it in parentheses for your ln. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to minus that, and we're going to do this again for this part. So we say log base 7 of x, uh, the derivative of that will become x ln 7. All right? Now, we've got to find the derivative of g, and so it's going to be the same thing. Log base 3 of x will convert to 1 over x ln 3. Okay. And all right, so now what we need to do is we're going to multiply uh, f prime. So you've got the quotient rule up here. You say f prime of x times g of x minus g prime of x times f of x all over g of x squared. So for the first part, we're going to multiply this by that. That's part one. And then part two is we're going to multiply this by that. That's part two. And then you're going to take 1 minus 2. So you can say 1 minus 2 all over g squared. And of course, this right here is g. All right. So let's do that. So we're going to take 1 or uh, f prime right here times g and we are going to get log base 3 of x all over x ln 5 minus log base 3 of x over x ln 7 okay and then uh, then you're going to subtract and I like to put this in parentheses um, and we're going to change the signs around later but this is just so you don't get your signs mixed up okay so for part two then you just do the same thing um, only this time we're going to have the log the log rhythms up top and the ln's on bottom so we say log base 5 of x over x ln 3, all right? And then minus, so you get your minus sign, log base 7 of x over x ln 3, all right? Now, we can 
uh, switch our signs around so that this becomes positive, that will become negative, and this becomes positive. All right, so now we're looking at this, and of course this whole function, all right, so this whole big deal is going to be divided by our g squared, which is log base 3 of x squared. All right, so um, when you do this, you can kind of simplify and you're going to get this really long answer, okay? Um, however, that's not really simplifying it fully, so uh, to really simplify, you're going to need to know a little algebra trick where you convert your logarithms um, to the natural log. And so to do that, you need to know another rule, and that is uh, if you have like a, let's say, we'll just say for like a log base 7 of x, okay? So you've got your log 7 of x, well that's going to equal ln x over ln 7, okay? And so we're going to do that with this whole thing, and so we get, so we take this log base 3 of x, and we are going to convert it over here into this format, so it becomes ln of x divided by, and so that's going to be ln 3, times x ln 5, all right, and then we're going to do that for everyone, so we say ln of x divided by ln of 3 in this case, times x ln 7 plus ln of x ln of 5, okay, we're just converting that log base 5 of x to ln of x over ln of 5, um, and so, I'm sorry, so this is going to be, uh, this is actually going to be minus, alright, and then uh, times our x ln of 3 plus uh, ln of x divided by ln of 7 times x ln of 3. All right, now <laughs> when we do that, um, you might have noticed a little pattern here. Um, so We've got these two positive terms right here, the ln x of ln of 7 times x of ln of 3. So if we take a look at this, we can find that this term and this term, because this is a negative right here, okay, so these terms will cancel out. And if you take a look at this term and this term, we've got a ln of 3 times x ln of 5. And uh, we've got the same thing, ln of 3 times x times ln of 5. And so and you, you've got a positive and a term, a positive and a negative. Those cancel out. And you're left with 0 over log base 3 of x squared, which equals 0. So... Uh, the derivative of this function is going to equal 0. And so d of dx of that equals 0. And that is in simplest form. I uh, hope that helped.